Whatever the pastime, whatever the sport, have you noticed how its enthusiasts use their own language, their own fancy terms? We call it jargon. Motorhome enthusiasts are no different. Hence this series when I'll explain some of those funny jargon terms, kicking off with battery sharing chargers. Here's a couple of batteries. Imagine this is the battery that's the starter battery in the base vehicle. This is the leisure battery that runs the appliances in the living area. If you join these two directly together, which you could do, it would mean that this would pinch some of the power from the leisure battery when you're starting the engine, and that can lead to problems. But you can join them together if the link is via one of these battery sharing chargers. And now this is what happens. If in the winter, say, when your van is parked up, you charge the battery that's still in the motorhome, once it gets up to charge, any spare that it accumulates can then be shared across to the battery in the engine compartment. It's a brilliant system, and most motorhomes have one fitted. Moving on, we talk about owner's manuals, and you might think, oh, crumbs, I understand what they are. But don't forget you have an owner's manual for the base vehicle, Pretty good, I've always found. And then you have a, an owner's manual for the conversion itself. This is Bailey's for their new motorhomes. Similarly, this is one I picked up from Auto Sleepers, an owner's handbook, um, and that's very helpful. But some of the manufacturers, the small scale ones, don't give you one at all. You just get a whole pile of leaflets, how the cassette works, how the seat, his heating system works, and all the rest of it. And those are mine, because when I built my own motorhome, I had to just rely on that. But it's better if you buy a motorhome that has got its own owner's manuals in place. What's adhesive sealant? Not the sealant around your bath at home, that's ordinary sealant. Not stuff around the wash basin. This is adhesive sealant and it is an adhesive as well as sealing. It's black, this one, as it happens. Here it is in white form. And as long as it's more than three millimetres thick, my word, it's strong. But more than that, it can here hold bits of wood together. But on this motorhome, it might have been used for holding the glass screen into the metal frame of the cab. And it can be used here to link the metal cab to the fibreglass sides. Very, very important in motorhome assembly. Camping kettle, 750 watts. Hey, I don't need a camping kettle. Look, I've got my one from home. I can take that. No, this is a fast boil. It's 3000 watts. And if you actually do your sums, you'll find that consumes over 13 amps. A lot of campsites don't provide that amount of mains electricity. So instead of taking that out of the kitchen, you go and buy a camping kettle. It's not 3000 watts, it's a mere 750. Oh, it takes a bit longer to boil the water, but at least it can run on a typical campsite supply. And so we come finally to Alutec construction. You hear reference to this quite often, and it's Bailey's own special way of holding sides to roofs and roofs to sides without using screws, which could let in the water. How does it do it? Well, if we look on the inside of this piece, you can see clamps hold the piece together and they're so strong that when this was first released five or six years ago on caravans, the Bailey caravan that used it had a Ford Mondeo parked on the roof. That is the extent of its strength. And now it's being used on Bailey's own motorhomes. A wonderful system and one that you'll come across quite a lot in your discussions. Thank you.